Top 10 Rich Skateboarders Are skateboarders rich? The skateboarding talent has been viewed more as a hobby than a paying sport. This assertion is wrong because the pro skateboarders are making millions with endorsements, TV rights, and salaries. People need to stop sleeping on it as the sport moves to Olympic status at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. This American-originated sport is skills and stunt-based. We can take the fortune of the top 10 richest skateboarders as inspiration. 10. Ryan Sheckler The life of Ryan reality show creator and entrepreneur is also a wealthy skateboarder. For his time in the game, he has made an impressive name for himself. His skills are undoubtedly refreshing in the game. He stands 32 years old with an unbelievable footprint on the sport and in popularity of the skate. He has been on the cover of numerous magazines, sharing his origin story of skating at four years old in California. He also won many awards in the early 2000s, including outstanding performances at Tampa, Slam City Jam, and Globe World Cup. He went pro at 13 years old and placed second on his first Scandinavian Open. Ryan has a foundation that works for the health of young sports athletes. He donates to the Children's Cancer Research Fund and is adored for his humanitarian endeavors. He currently skates with the Plan B team, where he is the star performer. Ryan Sheckler is worth $16 million. 9. Chad Muska Chad Muska has been a skateboarder since his childhood in Phoenix with his father. Trans World Skateboarding Magazine confirms him as one of the most influential skateboarders in the world. Muska is also sponsored by Element Skateboard, Brooklyn Projects, and Supra Footwear. He has a store in Los Angeles where he sells sunglasses and shoes with his signature design. That is not all. Muska has produced music for Africa, Ice-T, and Guru. If you play the Tony Hawk video game, you might see him as a live character. Even though he has been more reclusive in the past years, his fan base has always been by him. The skateboarder enjoys his time skating and then keeps the rest private since his 2011 vandalism lawsuit. The 44-year-old is worth $16 million. 8. Stefan Janoski Stefan Janoski keeps his life private but exhibits all his talents. Janoski is a painter, writer, artist, sculptor, and photographer. He is famous for his Nike Zoom Stefan Janoski signature shoes. His sponsors have included Glassy and Asphalt Yacht Club, Nike SB, Habitat Skateboards, and Venture Trucks. Janoski is best known for his switch stance skills. His Voyages exhibition opened in 2013. Stefan Janoski is worth $20 million. 7. Rodney Mullen Rodney Mullen is a man of many income streams. He is an engineer, a skate brand owner, and a skateboarder. With skateboarding, Mullen started competing at 11 years old due to how fast his talent developed. Someone who could not initially get permission to skate because he had a medical condition called pigeon toe is now the most influential pro skateboarder. Mullen had invented many tricks in the game and has never lost a competition, except for a freestyle contest when he came second to illness. After founding the Almost Skateboard Company in 2002, he released an autobiography titled the Mutt, How to Skateboard at Not Kill Yourself. Mullen has stopped skating in front of an audience, but his legacy lives on. In 2013, he was inducted into the Skateboarding Hall of Fame. Mullen is worth $30 million. 6. Sean White Sean has beautiful red hair, and when he skates in the air, it flows gorgeously. This look from sky level has earned him the title of the Flying Tomato. He is a skateboarder and snowboarder. His hero is Tony Hawk, and he had inspired him since they met when he was nine years old. His sponsorships started coming when he was seven years old. He has companies like T-Mobile, HP, Target, Red Bull, Adio, Mountain Dew, Birdhouse Skateboards, and many more. About 25% of his wealth is from endorsements alone. He also makes some of his money from a clothing line, promotional activities and video games, and snowboarding lesson videos. Wag is the first athlete to win both Summer and Winter X Games in two different sports. He holds 23 medals for his achievements. White is worth $40 million. 5. Bam Marjora Bam is not Brandon Cole Marjora's name. His grandpa gave him that nickname for how often he bumped into doors. 
Marjorie's rise to fame was because of videos he made of himself and friends while in high school. The dangerous stunts they were performing became famous, and he got a lead role in an MTV reality show called Jackass. The impressive performance in the show got him playing roles in the three Jackass movies that were subsequently produced. He is also featured in other movies like Destroying America and Grind. He also had a radio show called BAM Radio that focused on him and his high school friends for the video. In his hometown Pennsylvania, he has a theater and bar called Note. He currently owns Filthy Note Records, which has signed Veins of Jenna, a Swedish band. Bam Marjora is worth four to five million dollars. Four, Rick Howard. Rick Howard is of Canadian descent, and he developed his talent in skateboarding after moving to the U.S. Howard was famous in the 90s due to his natural talent. He performed with the Blockhead Skateboards in 1991 and showed impressive range. He received pro status almost immediately. He produced the best videos and was recognized for his fully flared video by Transworld Skateboarding Magazine. Howard is a co-founder of the Girl Skateboards Company. His footwear company is also called Lackey Limited Footwear. Aside from being his company's face, he is also sponsored by Glassy Sun Aiders, Independent Trucks, Spitfire, Diamond Supply Company, and many more. Howard skated for Plan B Skateboards and was impactful with his consistent execution of the switch stance. Howard is now retired, and yet his earnings from skateboarding amount to $50 million. 3. Jamie Thomas Jamie is the owner of Fallen Footwear and Zero Skateboards, which both closed down in 2017. He is widely called the chief in the industry. He is currently on the Stray Footwear team with fellow athletes Chat Muska and Antwiwin Dixon. His career started in 1992, and his skills have not withered since. Thomas won gold at the Summer X Games in 1995 for Street Best Trick. He is also featured in six Tony Hawk video games. Thomas is worth $50 million. 2. Rob Diedek The Ohio-born multimillionaire is a jack of many trades. Diedek is an actor, producer, entrepreneur, and reality TV star. His skateboarding origin story begins with Neil Blender, another famous skateboarder, gifting him a skateboard at 11 years old. The following year, he had become so good at the sport that he went pro. 12-year-old Rob was starting to receive sponsorships and getting the proper recognition for it. When he realized how talented he was, he quit high school and moved to California to pursue his dream as a skateboarder. Rob joined the Doors clothing team and began his career in the big leagues. Since then, Rob has had 21 Guinness World Records to his name, and that is a feat that gives him the ratings that he enjoys today. Rob Diadek is worth $100 million and spends all his time investing and making appearances on shows named after him. 1. Tony Hawk Tony Hawk is the success story that everyone already knows. He started skating at 9 years old. Hawk has since become the most successful person to ever go into skateboarding while making money solely from skateboarding and other areas in the entertainment parts of skateboarding. Although he retired in 1999, his impact is still palpable in the industry. He still skates, but not to compete. Whenever you see him anywhere, it is to invent a new move. Birdhouse Skateboarding is his company. His first Riley is also a professional skateboarder. Tommy Hawk is worth $140 million. There are 11.08 million skateboarders in the world who are active in the sport. The sport is currently ranked at $1.4 billion with the potential to reach $2.4 billion in the next five years. The list is predominantly American because of the popularity of the sport in the US. Who is your favorite skateboarder? And if they are not on this list, what is their net worth? Please tell us what your best experience with skateboarding is in the comments.